right, today we're gonna actually bring our airbrush machine and this one is completed with everything you see in here. They give you three airbrush machines, three of them, three airbrushes, all right? So this is unheard of a machine coming with three of them, all right? Now this one has its own flow, all right? So you're gonna have to fill this up, you know, mix some paints, you could do cakes, recipes and so forth. That's what it's used mostly for but longer paint to it for larger jobs too. You fill it up and that's it. Now these have actually a funnel area where you actually, it's a reservoir, you put in a little paint there and they're both different sizes, of course, a larger size and the smaller one, all right? One, you could actually take out the cap, the other one, you can't, all right? So two different sizes too on that. Now, I like to give you the color coordinations. This is actually for people that don't know about you know how to mix colors and so forth this is a great tool to have for those that want to make sure they get the right blended colors this is a tool palette i use it a lot not just for this but i use it for filming too uh just to make sure that the lighting's good so this is a great thing option and i forgot to mention that this one comes its own cord and of course they give you a long line this is the one that we're going to be using today i'm going to be testing it out and they also i forgot to mention this but they have this attachment here this attachment is if you want to rest your airbrushes here uh, once you dry them up or you have them open and you could just rest them up in here. This actually lines up in here. This is the control pressure to also. And to do that, you have to push it up and, and, and move it around, right? Now, they give you a couple of things that you shouldn't be aware. There's a power button on and that's pretty much it. But then you got to look at the pressure, the PSI, all right? So I'm going to put that in there. Suction cups in case you have a, a nice bench for it or somewhere that you want to push it up down but because we're doing the hardware we don't have to worry about uh we do do 3d print a lot of these figures this is not ready it's not ready for prime we still have to you know make sure we we sand some of the stuff and then we prime it i use the airbrush to prime it and some of these figures take a long time to actually paint if you guys can see that but this is a great option to have for those that are 3d printing and want to be make their own paintings their own you know models this is a great option to use this machine. Make sure you keep coloring fill, make it more, more realistic. Now, today we're gonna test this one out. We're gonna open it up. Now, be careful. Don't take out the needle for anything. Just clean it up. Just make sure you maintain the clean on it. They give you the tools to remove it. Uh, this is very sensitive when you touch the needle because the needle, it goes across the whole thing. My recommendation is always buy two or three sets of needles. They do sell them separately, but you can see the entrance on the needle. You go just in the back. Um, to connect is very simple. It just twists in the, and, and the, uh, the thing I like about this is that you could twist your actual airbrush anywhere, if you guys can see that. So let's make sure we lock it in place. That's pretty much what you do. Now, you are gonna get moisture on every compressor and it's necessary to release the moisture. And, and it's in the bottom. Now, my recommendation, once you finish using the compressor, uh, turn when you turn it off, release a little bit of air, but wait for a while, release it through here first. Uh, any kind of moisture that falls in here, it's gonna go down here. And that's a killer of all the compressors, is that the moisture kills all these machines. And like I said, I, I forgot to mention, it has a little handle so you can move it from place to place. Including with it, they give you cleaning tools, right? This is necessary. Um, my recommendation when you're cleaning, if you're gonna add, don't add water, add distilled water. Make sure you know about that. Um, cleaning solutions, they have cleaning solutions for this. They have um, other materials. Uh, I use a lot of uh, some alcohol and mix with thinner and so forth, and then it just works well once you push it on. So we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna see how loud this thing is, all right? I just want you to hear the power on it. Look how quiet it is. Look at the airflow, the airflow, and it just completely filled up. And you guys can see the PSIs in here. And like I said, at the end of the day, you can just rest the actual um, tool here. And we're going to increase the speeds on this. But look at this. Look at that. Let's lock this in place. Look at this. Constantly airflow. And like I said, push it back for paint. You can see the needle working here in the bottom. Like I said, replace the needles. It's necessary once in a while. They could do get rusted. Down for air, back for paint flow, right? Paint flow, paint flow. 
PSIs. They're the PSIs. Look how they they never go below forty. They never go below forty. So it could constantly be painting. And you don't have to worry about it. Just look at this. I'm gonna keep floating it. They don't. It does not go below forty. It just keeps it constantly. Then we stop it. The compressor stops. This is an outstanding, including with everything you see in here, not including the paints, all right? You have to provide your own paints. We are going to do a lot of painting on this, like I said. I use this for a lot of uh, details. Make sure I go through some details. Just paint everywhere, all around that the locations you do. Um, very small, fine details you want to do, use this one. The larger one, you could use for the larger details, of course. And of course, if you want to expand pretty much a lot more this is the one i will use so three different formats i like that you could actually hang these things in here and dry them up make sure they're secure in here i like the whole setup very simple easy to use and very in the whole convenient you don't have to worry about buying any other pieces but this and the paint of course so i hope you guys enjoy the video 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.